Kislev versus the Lizard Men. A matchup I've seen a little bit more recently, but every single time I have seen it, it is played differently by both sides. And here we have Bujalicious versus LeBaked again. It must have been a best of three series between them. On one side, you do see a Carnosaur. Let's see if it's any good. My heart tells me no, but I'm ready to be wrong. For Kislev, we have one little Grom to force the enemy into them. We have a front line of armored Kossars, a back line of Kossars with spears, looks like five of them total. Two Zargard in the very far back and two Streltsy in the mid ground with one light war sled for a little bit of skirmish and chariot cycle charging. Very stalwart Kislev line. On the side of Jurassic Park, we have Source Spears in the front line. Red Crested Skinks in the secondary with some skin cohorts. We have Quadruple Feral Cold Ones, a Feral Bastilodon, a Carnosaur, and a Bastilodon with Solar Engine with a Slon of Life with Dwellers Below Earthblood, his Bound Banishment, and his other Bound Abilities. I don't love the Source Spear front line. Uh, it's anti-large is going to be wasted on a lot of kids love stuff unless you think that there's going to be like bear riders But still if your source front line What are the odds they get to fight the bear riders? They don't have an arm piercing They just won't get through the kids love front line very fast and they will get ground down for being so expensive So I would either take the mace version for a little bit more damage or just spam red crisis kinks for their armor piercing and relatively more cheap price point against kids love the rest of this build is fine. I uh, really like the Feral Cold ones. Feral Carnosaur is risky, but I honestly, like, I can say I honestly have not tried it in Warhammer 3. I just know it sucked in Warhammer 2. But maybe it's good and I didn't try it. I don't oh, shit talk something I honestly haven't tried, but the Saurus Spears I have tried and that did not work. Eh, gives a build solid. I don't believe in the Light War Sled too much after all the nerfs. It doesn't feel like it does anything. Just either go for the Heavy War Sled for the extra, like, 200 gold or just don't get a war sled, but it's good for chasing down stuff. Armor piercing missiles still. It's fine. Oh, what does this lady have? Ice Maiden of Ice Witch of Tempest. With Hawks of Miska, Hailstorm, Glacial Blast, and Guardian's Call. Interesting. Anyway, some skinks for the lizard men are getting way out ahead of the rest of their army and they are taking a lot of punishment for it probably want to stagger this well not stagger yeah the exact opposite don't stagger the advance really have everything trying to hit at the same time the source we're taking it okay for now still gonna take a lot of damage especially with these light war sleds coming in from behind let's see if the feral carnosaur and feral cold ones have anything to say about that the first skink is already routing the of solar engine is just firing at these armored cost stars but it's getting counter fired by the little grom we'll see who does more damage over time Feral Cold Ones are relatively uncontested on the sides. There is actually no cavalry for this Gizlum build. And the Light War Sleds, you can see, are not having a good day. Sora Spear is fighting against them, but also getting friendly fired by their own archers. And they are really losing a lot of health quickly. They're down to two models as they get recharged by Red Crisis Skinks. And the Feral Cold Ones get into the back line. A Hailstorm already launched by Kislev, but those Red Crested Skinks are just chewing through the armored Kossars. And already the Sora's have reached the back line. Zargard are pulled up. Do some good work there. So the other Zargard are kept in the back, try and hold off Feral Cold Ones, while Streltsy will shoot at them to try and trigger their rampage and force them into a bad fight. But looks like the Zargard are actually fucking off to go fight Saurus, so that might be a bit of a problem. Where is the Carnosaur? There he is. Feral Carnosaur is fighting some infantry. He's anti-large arm piercing. He does a lot of single target damage, so you probably want to hurry up and find. I guess the chariots are almost dead, but he'll want to find Little Grom. He'll want to fight the Ice Witch. They don't want to fight anything besides just infantry. Hawks of Miska. Do a little bit of damage to Soros Spears and then it leaves. And Slon throws out a quick banishment. There's a lot of spells going down not right now. It's kind of crazy. Carnosaur is in the backfield. Carnosaur is open. Carnosaur wants the ball. And there we do have some Feral Cold Ones who are rampaged in by the Streltsy. But they got a nice rear charge of the armor, the Kossars with Spears. So who knows if it was even a bad thing. These other Feral Cold Ones, unfortunately for the Lisbon player, are a bit forgotten. Another Hailstorm from the Ice Witch. She has been spamming those out and they're doing decent damage to the front line, but really not a lot. Like, you think that that spell looks like it would do more than it really does. Feral Carnosaur did, in fact, find Little Grom. Some Cossars with Spears are thinking about shooting at him, but they currently are not. It says they're firing, but they're just not. So, rest in peace. It doesn't even, it doesn't even have the audacity to say they're obstructed. They're just not firing. And now they're in melee with the Carnosaur. The Carnosaur, however, to be fair completely fucking whiffed its opportunity versus Little Grom. 
Somehow 29 melee defense versus 56 melee attack with a bonus versus large of 35. He missed every attack on that little Grom, so that was pretty exciting and cool. Now he's chasing down the Ice Witch and honestly getting pretty good value onto her. I'll give him that. He fucked up against the little Grom somehow, but now he's doing it okay. Instead, he's going to go fight the Snow Leopard Summon, and he misses his first attack onto that as well. It takes a little bit of damage from Friendly Fire, but if it had been hit by the T-Rex, you would know it. Things are going well for the Lizardmen overall. They have dominated that far flank. They're pushing through. The front line is going overall well for them. But this near flank they have lost due to some Feral Coldens being forgotten. Feral Carnosaur is still not fighting the Snow Leopard very well at all. He did get a good hit onto it there. He is getting some healing. He's got, you know, a, a, a shield. But he's getting shot from every side. He's really not enjoying his day. And the Carnosaur is showing why it is the saddest dinosaur in the entire movie. Now it's getting some good hits on the Snow Leopard. Thank God the Snow Leopard is real and costs a lot of money. Oh wait, it's a summon, and even if it wasn't the summon, it costs 650 gold. But you fucked up against Little Grom, which actually would have been nice for you to kill, you idiot. God damn it, Feral Carnosaur. Elsewhere, Feral Cold Ones are chasing stuff around like the little armor-piercing doggos they are, and the leftover infantry from the winning fight are just walking slowly at the leftover infantry from the losing fight. Strelts here getting good shots off onto the life slime. Let's see if he notices he's in danger and he needs to walk away. As the Carnosaur loses the plot, loses attack orders, and now just starts standing around in the middle of a whole bunch of ranged units, spinning in circles, and rampaging at last. But at least that'll take him somewhere he needs to be before his leadership falters, and he's going to break like a dumb, dumb biscuit. God, I hate Carnosaurs, because I want to like them, but they're just bad. Another Hawks of Miska cast. This one going down some Red Crest Skinks does a little bit of damage, and then it is going to fuck off. But it comes right back, and it does a lot more damage to them there, discouraging them and even getting them to rout. Plus a Hailstorm on the other side. Take them out, and the Hawks of Miska starts to go down to this fight, but it doesn't do friendly fire damage. It does literally zero, so it just gets the Sora Spears leadership low enough that they will route. So that was actually a really good Hawks of Miska cast. Routes off two units with that debuff and a follow-up Hailstorm might get these guys to route too. All of a sudden, Kislev is in the lead with the death of the worthless-ass Carnosaur and a whole bunch of units routing. They really aren't feeling so good. Now, at least Strelt see something happened to them while I wasn't looking, but they are extremely injured from being almost full health at one point. Slon, Mage Priest of Life, is getting shot on, from all directions by Little Grom, by some little bowmen, and by Streltsy before they had to run away for a bit. There is a full health-ish Zargard over here that'll be a problem. That will definitely be a problem. Feral Basilon with his good arm-piercing anti-infantry values. He is trying to clear out these Streltsy and the Ice Witch can only really try to fight him for so long. 140 armor is a hell of a drug. And Sora's Spears are hanging on to the very last man. A Banishment was thrown out. Hit some Costlers of Spears. Looks like it did a little bit of damage, though it might have wanted been saved for these Zargard. These Zargard are really the biggest problem that you are going to face in the rest of the game. Solar Engine, three shots left. Probably should save its ammunition for the Zargard, as these Costlers of Spears are about to be routed, though I wonder if they still have their Bayer Blood Passive. They do not, apparently. So they will get routed off. Can you imagine if that T-Rex had killed the little Grom like it was supposed to instead of missing every attack on it earlier? That would have been pretty fun. T-Rex is back. Looks like it owner, its owner did not notice, and it is shattered off the field by getting shot in the bum. Another Hailstorm from the Ice Witch. Ooh, actually, that's a Haw Hawks of Miska. Doing good damage. Paired with Little Grom shooting in is enough leadership debuffs. You can see in here, it's uh, minus 16, minus 8 from uh, artillery. So that's a minus 24 aura when paired with the Little Grom, and both those Red Crystal Kings are going to route for that. Huge shot from the Feral Basildon, doing a lot of damage to Zargard. Really like that target priority there. And the Slon is still taking damage from Little Grom, who has nine shots left. He has, he has plenty of ammo for this point in the game. Kislev is rallying all around, bringing in the staggered remains of their forces. But this, oh wow, that Basildon is really teeing off on the Zargard. Great angle for it, too, sideways. I mean, like, it could be slightly better, but it would take a lot of time. So, it's still a great angle. Feral Bastildon might carry this game, though, with his armor piercing, his massive health pool at this point, and everybody else feeling a lot worse for wear. He could be the key that the Lizardmen need. And there's another Bastildon, this one with the Solar Engine. Quick Hailstorm plus a Little Grom. Gonna route off the Slon with the Routing Slon and taking more damage. His Red Crest Skinks will also probably route. It looks like they're even going to shatter. The Slon did not have any Earth Bloods left for himself, it would appear, and he's probably going to die for his sins. Light War Sled is pushed off once more. Ice Witch of Tempest is still here, and Little Grom is now turning his attention onto the Feral Bastildon. Bounce Power turns heavily against the Lizardman. I'm going to fast forward a little bit as 
The Ice Witch chase down the salon. Solar Engine's trying to finish her off. Meanwhile, this Feral Basildon is rampaging out into the middle of literally nowhere while getting shot by Streltsy and the Little Grom. The Salon is dead, the Ice Witch is fine, and Soros are fighting their last against two different units of very wounded Zargon. It looks like army losses is hitting for the poor Lizardmen. And while I think that fight was not quite over, I do think it was pretty Kislev favored. Ice Witch got 1300 value after all that, but still pretty good. Little Grom, 2000. Man, imagine if the Carnosaur had been able to kill it or do any damage at all. Zargard did eh. Light War Sled did eh. Streltsy did well. Armored Kossar frontline did great. And Archer Spear Kossar backline did just fine. Salon of Life got 2000 value. Very good for him. Carnosaur got almost 400. You pathetic piece of shit. Uh, almost 500 from something that costs a third as much. 800 from the Solar Engine. Honestly, we would have thought it got more. For how much damage it was dealing, Soros did well overall. Red Cross Skinks did well overall. Feral Cold Ones did fine, but some of them were forgotten, which is a problem. The skin cohort was thrown to the dogs. GG. Subscribe, yes, yes.